my question is regarding being reborn as a dwitch so i have a conflict in my mind like you said to be reborn as a dwitch we have to uh, let go our past conditioning so does it mean that we should also let go our past relation like uh, relation of a mother father spouse or siblings see i think um, this is a very genuine question you know when i say that you take rebirth the idea of taking the rebirth is not let go everything in your life right for example you got your family you got your brother you got your sister you may be married you may have children right? does it mean that you leave everything like gautam buddha had done right and then you start your own spiritual journey not really when i say get reborn i simply meant that you take a conscious rebirth by considering all the conditioning of the society and all the conditioning of the society is not necessarily wrong there are many aspects of your conditioning which may be correct or which are actually correct and you may need to follow them by heart and you are born in a life you live in a society you have responsibility towards your relations towards your friends towards your family towards your wife and towards your children taking rebirth i'm not talking about taking sanyas from from the society and go to the jungle like it has happened always right when i say you take rebirth i simply meant that you carefully consider and analyze without getting any kind of biasness right what is right what is wrong what is the purpose of your life it could be anything right for example if your purpose of life is to gain highest possible level of consciousness as i said before go on that path if you are a writer think about what sort of writing you should be doing right think about what should be your direction in life think about how can you contribute to his creation we all have got life we are born into this life we just can't sit idle and do nothing and just do some chanting or just do some repetition of things and prayers and you you know you call yourself that i am bad and god is very good and all those things by calling yourself bad do you think god will be happy i consider god as my father will you go to your father and say i am culprit i am bad please give me good power please give me that please give me that you need to correct these things you know this is something which was bothering me in my life you know through my conditioning that you know when we go to god what do we say main murakh khalkami main sevak tum swami you know what i mean yes. am i murakh am i khalkami right and if you tell your father will you be, will he be happy absolutely not i want to go to my dad i want to go to my father and tell him see this is my direction this is where i am going please give me your be- best wishes if you can that rebirth running away from your responsibilities in life is not good if as i said if you are a writer you know if you are a painter how can you if you are a farmer if you are a gardener if you are a doctor if you are a social worker if you are a politician if you are a singer if you are a musician first of all getting reborn is considering your own skills considering your own potential you can find god by various methods you can reach to higher level of consciousness by various ways if you are skilled in something if you are a musician if you are a singer 
you can still find him through that path, not necessarily spirituality. And spirituality is not the only path, but any path you choose, for example, you are a writer, singer, if that is the path you choose and you want to excel in that, and if you have the aim to make positive contributions to his creation, to this universe, through the skills which you already have, and by refining those skills even further, because you will be dedicated. And in, from my point of view, that is the real spirituality. What is spirituality? Spirituality word comes from spirit, isn't it? Right? And satisfying your spirit, working for your spirit, working for the cause and the purpose of the spirit. Whatever you do and connect your spirit with that spirit, which you call Paramatma, Supreme Soul in English, right? Or I call Data. You can call whatever name, really doesn't matter, right? My mom calls me by a different name. My sister calls me from a different name, but that, that really doesn't matter what you call God, right? But what matters is that through your skills, you can reach him. Action is also one of the paths that leads to God. And in Dwij Parampara, in Dwij philosophy, that's what we say. That you do karma, you do action, because you can't sit idle, right? But for him, in his remembrance, see, uh, what's your name, uh, dear? Manu. Manu. Manu, I don't know what your skills are. But, you know, we, we do actions, we perform actions, right? And we work with our mind. We don't work with our body. We work with our mind. What I'm trying to say by taking rebirth is that you do exactly what you are doing, but change the consciousness. And actions performed after changing your consciousness will remain the same. They won't change, at least superficially. But the consciousness is changed. And that I think is spirituality from my point of view, right? And that does not ask you to get rid of your responsibilities and run away from them. I'm sure that you would agree with me or, uh, but it was a good question. You know, when we talk about sannyas, when we talk about adhyatma, you know, what people generally think is that, okay, you go away from everything. No? Yes, sir. The actual sannyas is when you practice spirituality while in the society, while bearing your responsibilities. You've got a life and you need to fulfill that life from everything, by everything with everything. And by fulfilling, you will create an empty space within yourself. And that space will automatically be filled with spirituality or with his energies, with Data's energies. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for enlightening me today. Thank you.